Hi guys, it's Ramina Math Person. Today I'll be going over question 238 on SO exam P. So pause the video quick and try this problem yourself. Okay, so in a large population of patients, 20% have early stage cancer, 10% have advanced stage cancer, and 70% do not have cancer. Six patients from this population are randomly selected. Calculate the expected number of patients with advanced stage cancer given that at least one of them has early stage cancer. Given at least one of them has early stage cancer. All right, so honestly, there's two ways you can approach this problem. One way is to break this down into the expectation of AS and ES given greater than one over the probability that ES is greater than one. Denominator is easy, but the numerator is a little bit hard because let's say like, for example, you know how probability is just X times the probability of X? Well, if let's say X is three, meaning that um, there's three advanced patients, that means there's three advanced patients. It could be one early stage and two none, two that have no cancer, or it could also be three early, three advanced stage, two early stage and one that have no cancer, or it could also be like three um, advanced stage, three early stage and zero that have no cancer. And you can see like this could be a tedious process trying to find all these probability by itself. You can also do this using the total expectation formula. I'll link a really good video down below, but basically it says like the expectation of advanced stage cancer patient is equal to the probability that ES is equal to zero times the expectation of AS given um, ES is equal to zero. So what it basically is doing is it, I'm breaking it down into two parts, one that's where ex early stage patients is equal to zero and one, one where early stage patients equal to greater than one. So you're basically just m taking a conditional probability and multiplying it by its weight. Anyways, and then this, and then the second part is the same. So probability that ES is equal to greater than one times the probability that ES, or well, expectation of AS given ES is greater than one. And you notice this is what we're looking for, right? So as long as we can find the other parts, I think it would be pretty easy to find this as well. So first, what is the expected value of AS, advanced stage um, stage cancer students? Well, that's just X times, any expectation is equal to X times the probability of X. So this is equal to six times the probability of AS, that's just 0.1 equals the prob what is the probability that ES is equal to one zero? What is the pro basically saying what is the probability that there are no early stage cancer patients? So that just if twenty percent is the early stage cancer patients, then none of them would just be one minus point two. But there is six of them, right? Assume that these are independent events, assuming that one person having cancer does not affect other people having cancer. I mean I don't think cancer's contagious unless it's like lung cancer but anyways so this will be two to six power because there's six of them and what is the expected value of as given es equals zero so basically i think this will be easier easier to break it down like that so then basically let's think of it like what is the probability of as given es is equal to zero well this is we can break it down into the conditional probability formula which is just as and es equal to zero over the probability that es equals zero. All right, the probability that ES is equal to zero is indeed one minus 0.2 like we discovered earlier. Okay, so th let's think about it. Like it's saying the intersection of advanced stage cancer patients and there not being any, isn't that not being any early stage cancer patients? Well, that's just basically equal to the probability of advanced stage cancer patients where we know this is just 0.1, so 0.1 times 0.8 over 0.8, just 1 eighth. But we know there is six of them, right? So we have to just do the six times the probability of this, which is just 1 eighth, which is just 6 eighth. All right, 6 eighth right here. The probability that ES is greater than one, but that just equal to one, two, three, four, and six. Or you can always take always take the complement because we know everything has to add up to one. We can just we can just do the whole thing one minus the probability that ES is equal to zero, which we know is 0.8. So basically, this is just one minus 0.8 to the sixth power, 
because there is six of them. And then this is what we're looking for, x. So when we try to solve for x, we can we get 0.6 minus 0.2 to the 6 times 6 eighth divided by 1 minus 0.8 to the 6th power. So this is equal to, let me plug it into my calculator real quick, equal to 0.547, which is your answer C. If you guys have any questions, feel free to leave them down below. Otherwise, as always, make sure you like, subscribe, and share. Bye!